All right. Well, let's see if this is going to work this time. So I am going to finally start doing live videos that will walk you guys through how to use my products, the intent of the products, and how to get the best results using the products. It's been a very long time, long time coming. Um, so we will just start this off by doing live streams. I have zero idea how to edit. Um, I'm usually used to just live streaming, so that's how we're gonna run it. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the Warhead. Um, all the pre-orders have started to ship this week, so these things are finally starting to land, so I think it's time that we finally run you through our very first full device. So this is a very, very exciting time. Um, this will be the first time that we have our full device. Usually the Vortex is an accessory for other, how this called an engines. Um, kind of look at it like a titanium pocket bong. Uh, you know, it, it was designed to cool hot air, hot extraction. Um, now we can pair it with the Warhead and have a full extraction experience uh, from everything made in-house here, uh, here in Ohio, actually. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a good uh, production-ish video for this uh, introduction. Now to give you guys um, some context, this warhead was designed for use with the Vortex system. Um, at least a, a stinger and another stem. You're definitely gonna want that cooling and that conditioning. Um, and then if you want to change the aesthetics, you can play with something like a Tydravong from a Dynavap or um, any other aftermarket accessory uh, stem if you would like to. So uh, let's jump into it. Let me see if we can get a good camera switch to the overhead display. Uh, if you guys can, if anybody's watching along, if you can let me know if this is getting picked up because the first video, it did not get picked up. Uh, so I want to start with walking you through the actual warhead assembly. So the warhead assembly is going to come with the warhead. Um, this warhead is threaded onto the titanium core. Now the reason for this is because we will have different iterations, different geometries, and different uses of the warheads. This is just the first iteration. Uh, you've got a titanium warhead on a titanium core with a titanium intercooler inserted into the core and then the titanium core uh, is inserted into what I'm calling the adapter. Now this adapter has more use than just uh, attaching the warhead to a vortex system. You are going to be able to use this as an adapter to use it with something like a Planet of the Vapes 1, a Fury Edge, and that sort of platform uh, for a thermal extraction device. So, same way you disassemble, you reassemble, thread on, insert it in here, call it a day. Now, if you took advantage of the MVS deal, you would have received the wood of your choice, a titanium stinger, which would come with a condenser pack. The condenser pack has an XL condenser as well as a short condenser. Uh, you simply take your XL condenser, insert it into your stinger, take the XL intercooler, Simply place it into the uh, condenser, assemble your stem, and simply attach the warhead assembly to your MVS stem. Now with the warhead comes the stainless steel dosing dish. The dosing dish is a threaded connection with an O-ring, gives that nice interlocking uh, locking uh, interface. Um, the dosing dish has what I call an iris and then a moat. So to use the warhead, you would go ahead and you would put your material of choice inside of the iris. And what you're going to do is you're going to heat the uh, warhead uh, with the tip facing down. Then you would use something like the Blazer Firefox. This is my favorite lighter. Uh, for the warhead. The Blazer Firefox actually comes with a one-year warranty. 
Um, and then after a one year, it's a $25 repair fee. If they can't fix it, uh, they will replace it. Uh, so I actually started to carry them. Uh, it's a really, really great lighter. Um, I really like that I can set it on my desk and kind of just let it do its thing. It's got a, a flame control. You shut the flame off um, and then you would get your tip hot. Now what we're looking for is we're looking to get the titanium below the fins glowing red. The reason why we're wanting it glowing red is we're going to want to get it um, hot past where we want to extract it. This way we're not rushing and we're not fumbling to, to extract the material that we have inside of the dish. Now I've calculated that the warhead with the this, this, this top half glowing red gets between 800 and 900 degrees. Using the turbometer, which has a thermocouple on the end, you have direct contact to the warhead. I have um, calculated that it takes 10 degrees, or uh, I'm sorry, 10 seconds to drop 100 degrees. So when this is glowing red, you're going to be anywhere from 800 to 900 degrees. So what you can do is you can wait about 15 to 20 seconds after uh, after you've heated to wait for that to drop down to optimal temperature go into your dish and uh, clean up your concentrated material now what's cool with the dosing dish and the moat is you have the option to do everything in one go or you can break up this the session into into two uh, heat cycles your first initial heat cycle you can drop into your iris um, and the concentrate does what concentrate does, which is run away from the heat source, which is gonna spill over into the moat. And you can either clean that up in all the same hit, or you simply put your warhead into the center of the iris, let the material spill over into the moat, wait for this to cool down, and then go in for a secondary hit, and then do a cleanup hit. Now what really changes the game is this turbometer. Uh, the turbometer really takes this analog device and turns it into kind of like an e-rig where you can get a pretty accurate reading of what the warhead is. Now, if you decide to pick up a, uh, a turbometer, um, these things are totally, totally worth it, especially with use of the warhead because it takes the guessing out of it. Um, what I recommend is running the turbometer uh, to the warhead and pulling away between 600 and 650 degrees. My thought behind this is with, with no rushing, you would, you would hold your warhead to the turbometer, you're gonna get that temperature read, um, and then pull away. You can go for the airport, grab your dish, and go in without the, without the feeling of being rushed, right? Um, so it makes for a really, really good experience, a good low temp um, extraction, and very, very flavorful device. Um, let's see if we can get this back. Boom. So that was kind of cool to that capture. I hope it captured. Um, so the warhead is very is very versatile. You do not need a terpometer to run it, uh, but it really makes it a more accurate session. Now I've gotten a lot of questions, does this thing work with something, let's just say, bubble hash, temple ball hash, uh, full mile hash, etc. It does. You're gonna wanna use a terpometer for something like temple ball um, or bubble hash. Um, it kinda use it like a mortar pestle type of vibe, uh, especially with that temple ball. What I recommend doing is taking that temple ball, rolling up in a little ball, putting it in the center of the, of the iris, going in at a lower temperature, around 600, I'd pull away at about 600. That way I can get in there, I can, I can press on that, uh, that temple ball, um, get a good low temp, uh, flavorful rip. Um, and then go in at a higher temperature and make sure you clean uh, the dish right away. Otherwise, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so it's a really, really, really uh, cool system. Now, the Warhead is a very efficient device. I would recommend using less than you normally would uh, just to kind of get your bearings with this system. Now the system can do, you know, larger dabs, but it can also do small microdose 
um, amount of concentrate. Now, if you're going in for a smaller microdose type of hit, do not worry if you're not blowing out a massive cloud. You're only using a small amount of material. You're not going to get a large cloud. Give it 10 to 15 minutes. See how you feel before going back in. Um, if you want to go for more, uh, a larger cloud volume this experience, you're going to need to put a little bit more material in there. Um, so just edge on the side of caution. Um, give it a go and um, let me know what you guys think. Um, the Warhead system is now going to is going to be available for order uh, stocked on the site starting next week that would be the week of july 20th i don't know even know what the date is today so uh, excuse me if you watch this video two weeks from now they'll be available um if you guys have any questions please free feel free to leave a comment uh join the discord so here's the thing uh, we've been building the SimCity Discord. It's a fucking vibe, man. Um, I recommend joining. Uh, there's a lot of knowledgeable people there. That's where I spend most of my time if I am not at work. Uh, so you can get a hold of me on the Discord. We're usually doing some uh, video streaming. Uh, it's a pretty pretty fun place to uh, hang out. So if you want to kind of sess with like-minded individuals, um, it's not just about SimRail stuff. We talk about all sorts of different thermal extractions, as you can see on these shelves here. Um, I don't know what this... <laughs> uh, I have a lot of extraction devices because I am a connoisseur, just like you guys watching this video. Um, so I look forward to see what the future holds, and hopefully this helps. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave a comment in the chat or the YouTube place to leave comments. Uh, and we'll go from there. This is my first video. Hopefully going to be more. We will definitely refine the experience. I kind of like that overhead camera. I wish that motherfucker wasn't in the view. But hey, hey, everybody starts somewhere. I'm not a professional photographer, videographer. I kind of know what I'm doing. I just had to Google OBS for the, first, the last two hours to figure out how to do this. So <laughs> bear with me. Also, make sure to tune in to After Hours on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Simrel Collection every Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do a live session for about an hour to two hours where we discuss what's up and coming, what's happened inside of the industry, or just bullshit and sesh. It's a very good time for me to unwind, connect with you guys, and uh, it's, a, it's a whole vibe. So, uh, shameless plug on my own motherfucking channel. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to leave this thing up. We'll see how this thing goes, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.